everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emrick, and we've reached game four, and the team that's on the road has got a chance to shorten the series. Not end it tonight, but at least shorten it. It's two games to one for them. And put themselves in the driver's seat, Doc, and I think that's one thing in playoff hockey that's so important is that any time that you can put yourself in that driver's seat and end the series, or at least have the ability to end the series quickly, you want that because you can rest your players and prepare for down the road, and the road team certainly has that chance to go up 3-1 here tonight. Let's look at the starting netminders. This man's the goalie again. He'll man the crease like he often does, looking to give a solid performance for the home team. Carey Price from the village of Anaheim Lake, British Columbia. A recent census says 319 people live there. The gold medal standout for Canada at the 2014 Olympics, a former forward in roller hockey, but the goalie of record tonight. We have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Ambrick, this playoff game has begun. Up gathered in by Evgeny Malkin. Gathered up again by Brodeen. Good place to shoot from. Blocked. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Columbus has been handed a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. We have a winner. Knocked off the puck. He's got it on his stick. He wants to clear it out of the zone. They must retreat and start back again. Puck is thrown to Hemsky. Trying for it. Great glove save, and he keeps it. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. Thunders got that win. Two guys together with force. Big force. The Army's a player that always reacts positively to a physical game. This time, he's trying to set the tone early with a good hit. On to Erhoff. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. And the puck taken over by Brodeen. The Thunders in possession as they travel through center. From the outside, got it all. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Under three minutes play, neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. Feeds the point. Chip to Shen. Gets that one on across. Taken away. The Condors shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Pass attempt to Malka. Looking to Erhoff. Same side to Nylander. Toward the net. That shot came from nowhere. The goalie makes himself look big. Score! What a great early start for the home squad. Malkin's wrist shot was heavy and quick. Price can't deny this perfect shot, Ed, so it's right inside the goal post, as you mentioned. Thunders ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. The Thunders got it along the side. He's got that pass at the point. Lightning like reflexes there. Great glove save.
The Condors with a face-off win. Led on to Dillon. Slid back across from one point to the other. Columbus in possession, moving it up the wing. Terrific poke check to break up that odd man rush. A terrific scoring chance denied. You got to battle through a screenplay. And he is reefed. Kuznetsov's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got... Oh, what a save that was. Puts it back. Thunders in possession now as they move up the wing. Slowed him right down. Price makes a smart play and holds for a faceoff. Talbot's playing net better than anyone right now. He's doing whatever it takes to keep the puck out of the net. Over eight minutes played here in the first. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Let's it go. Save. The Condors up the wing, luck the puck. Good try there. Skilled play by Brodeen. He's kept it in. Keeps the pressure on. Let's the shot fly. Knife down out of the air. This takes a lot out of him. Scrum over, puck kicked. Score! That's his first playoff goal. People always zero in on the puck, but if you're going to have great puck support, you better have the guys without it that go to the open ice. And so I think it's the quick release that fools the goaltender. He just gets a little piece of it, not near enough to stop it. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Trying to go to Larkin. Moved along and in. To the point it comes. Driving through center ice. One timer and a save. Right to the point. Takes that pass from the other point man. Poked away. Nice tip of the pass. In front. Skates out with it. That's great defense. This is a momentum building shift. Great save at the edge of the crease. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. And that whistle will give them relief for the moment. There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position and he deflects this away. Over five minutes remaining in the first. And so it is one to one. Defensive zone win. To Jordan Stahl. And he steps across the line. Puts one on. Blockered away. Gains the blue line. Let's it go. Got a piece of it with the glove. Puck covered, whistle blown. Price reads the play very well. It doesn't take much to see that it's an odd man rush, but he finds the puck and makes a stop. A good tie up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Brings a shot. Oh, what a stop. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. Takes that pass off the boards. Takes that pass from the other point. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. Leads down to the last minute. And now it's directed to Hemsky. One minute left. 
in the first period. Long lead pass to Dillon. Missed it wide. Up the wing to Huberdo. And he continues with it up the wing. Sticked away. 20 minutes in the books, both teams scored a single time. Are you a super fan? Here's your chance to prove it. If you have the best decorated car or home, you could win red side tickets to an upcoming game. The Condors have the momentum, if there is any in this game, because of this game-tying goal. We'll be right back. Game tied, second period, clock moving. Wonderful block. Scooped up by Huberdo. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near it. They win it. Slides it to the point. One into another. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Moving it to Nylander. Passing one off now to Shen. And they are in. Points it. Cranks one. A quick turnover by the defense. Can they keep it going here? Nice little lead to Brodine. Back to the point. Slides it to Shen. Goalie to the bench. Substitution made. Sanders pulls his way along. Hands over to Shen. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. The Condors get two for cross-checking. If the referee sees you lift your stick up with both hands and hit somebody with it, you're going to get a penalty. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Penalty. Carolina's quick on the draw. Sends to the point. Four minutes, 40 seconds. Good work there. They'll have to try it again because of the defender stick. Clear. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Clef bombs cut through the neutral zone. He takes that point pass. Got in front of another one. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Over five minutes have been played. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. Off the faceoff, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Paddled aside, and another save there. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. Waffle boarded. Can he send it out? They shot it back down. Now they can get ready for another rush. Huge hit. Possession's gone. That's why coaches tell you at every level, you've got to have your head up. And they got it out of there. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. on that the cleft bomb got hit score a power play goal yet again Hemsky's first
first shot was stopped, and he followed up with the second one and put it in. The Thunder's been dominating play. They didn't have a lot to show for it, but they've now broken the top. It's one of those rare games where there's not much scoring, but there's been plenty of chances. The goaltenders have been excellent, and the energy has been high. Got his stick on it. By number 13, Tyler Kovarov. And by number 77, Oscar Kotko. Time of the goal, 6 minutes, 10 seconds. Under 7 minutes gone. Carolina's lead is 1, and it's a fresh lead. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. Up to the point. Snaps a wrister. Gloved. Puck covered, whistle blown. Good face-off win. Using the point, he's got it. Laid on to Posternoff. Directing that one to Erhoff. Pitching this one to Shaw. Let's it go. Great glove save. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Quick work on the faceoff. Puck loose, knocked down to a knee. Propelled to Tolusti. Gets in. What'll he do? He throws it there. Freezes play. Carolina's prevailed on another faceoff. Thunders continuing on up the wing. Fires! No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Moving it now up the wing. Risha shoots. Great chance, but he missed. You're not going to get many chances right from there. You've got to hit the net. He just misses wide. Got that in the trapper. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. Price has to follow the puck here. His team gets caught a man coming down the ice, but he makes the save. Just a hair under seven minutes still to play in this period. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. That's the way to make them pay. Almost score! That's two unanswered goals. The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. Well, the goaltender wants to be aggressive here, but this is just perfectly delivered. Carolina's now ahead by two, and they've had the puck an awful lot. Maybe it should be more. They've got the draw. Snapping a pass to Johnson. Good, solid defense there. Loose puck taken by Ponick. Pitching it to Clefbaum. Carolina's continuing on at center. Gets across, looks over his options. Smart recovery by Hemsky. Slid to Jokinen. On to Ponick. Shoots one. Nearly grazed the iron on that. When the puck sounds hard when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. The Condor's guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade and just a hook. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. Power play has been well oiled. They've connected twice already. Let's see what develops off this face off. And that one's sent back out. Puck is thrown to Airhoff. 
Pass attempt to Shen. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. Oh, what a great shot down there. The Thunders in their own end setting things up. Airhoff's carrying it through center. Back on his stick. A whistle and a rest. A little under three minutes remaining in the period. Carolina's lead on the strength of that recent goal is two. Good help for the centerman. It's dumped in. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. In the slot. Taken on by Earhart. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. He covers and holds on. Carolina's got it. He's got that point pass. And at an angle, the cleft bomb. Moves it to the corner. Back to the point. Blocked away. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. Carolina's leaving the defensive zone. Out of their own end, skating with it now. A shot, outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Johnson's won again. His team is winning. All's good. The Condors are back even. I'm not so sure that's what the coach had designed when that power play went back out onto the ice. He was pretty happy earlier in the game, but that one there will make a coach go gray in a hurry. What a heavy collision along the boards. The fans along the glass got to love that hit. Receives that pass from the other side. Blocked. Rebound. The shot is off. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Carolina's insurance goal has staked them to the two-goal lead that you would expect them to have. Here it is one more time. We'll return after these words. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? The Condors have to feel pleased that they're only down by a few in this game. They've been outchanced badly, but one good bounce offensively, they're back in this game. What a hit! Rodin's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. Back to the point. A good stick there. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Oh, broke it up. Looking to Markov. Trying to go to Huberdo. Gets in, looks over his options here. Jostled off the puck. Chip to Nylander. Pushing it on up the wing. Got it at the point. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. And now it's directed to Domi. Using the point. Shot! Big point blank save there. Moving it to Clefbaum. Good stick work, and for that reason, it's a chance for the offense. Pressure mounting here. Still no shot. Out at the blue line. Point to point to Markov. Up the half wall. Sends it across the blue line. Has it picked up. Nice tip of the pass. 
It's an onside play. And he's hammered. He might have seen him at the last minute to absorb that hit. Broke it up well with the poke check. Keeps it going up the wing. He is shut right off. Hemsky's trying to do way too much there with that offensive opportunity. Shook right through. This scrum will end soon. Skate kick out of the scrum. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Just missed the net. Columbus in control of the puck up the wing. At the front of the net. Has that point pass as well. He scores! Stall! We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Enzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Scored by number 11, Jordan Play to be made now by Como. Passing one off now to Shaw. Has it in his own end. Laid on to Pasternak. Shoots one. Save. Carolina's moving it up the wing. A shot. Stop! thinking about taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. He just wasn't able to get over and cover the top of the net. The shot's perfect. It's right in the roof and the goalie's dejected. Over six minutes remaining here in the third. Just recently another goal and so the lead is two. And that's a face-off win. Point blast! That shot went badly wide. Boy, that puck was really humming off the stick. Unfortunately, it missed the net badly. That one's tipped. Big hit. Possession gone. What a terrific save. Directing that one to Tulusti. Shot. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. Not a lot of room to score from it. Score! They're back to within one. You get this close to the goaltender, the puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. Talbot's not able to shut down the low stick side. This beats him on the pad. The Condors have struck back, only trailing by a single goal, and we're in the dramatic third period. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. He cut him down on that rush. Gives it to the point. And the loose puck gathered in by Brodine. Terrific interception. He gains the zone. Hatchets one. Solid glove save. Huberto's playoff numbers are outstanding. His offensive production doesn't seem to slide in the playoff, despite the fact that he gets every bit of defensive attention from the other team. A big win. Let's see what happens. Not tested much. A brilliant save. We're in the last minute of play, and still something could happen. Muscle down to one knee. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Pass cut by the offense. Oh, and he is drilled. Wow, Doc, just like we thought, a real physical start to this game. Goalie to the bench, extra attacker out. Puck loose, denied by the defense. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Carolina's in possession as they travel in their own end. 
That one's flopped in. They'll try to dump and chase and go get it. At this point in the game, you cannot afford to make any mistakes. That puck's got to get in deep. Pitching this one to Domi. Snapping a pass to Hemsky. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. And this one goes into the books. And so the end of a very close game. The stats can be deceptive. The shots on goal were really lopsided, but the score was tight. Sometimes you're going to have games like this where you get a lot of pucks in the net, and they don't go in, but you win the game. Playoff hockey always is special. We hope this one was for you. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.